Hi, welcome to TCTV and once again Health Matters. Today we're talking about blood sugar control. Um, the reason why we're explaining this, most people want to know why, we, why does blood sugar mean anything to us. So for the sake of everyone just knowing, our blood does have sugar in it. It's not that it doesn't have. And on the average, it's between 100, call it, points in our blood that your body maintains all the time. And it's normal to have that 100 count in your blood. So for instance, on a graph, say that is 100 points of blood, sugar in your blood. If you eat any kind of food, whether it's protein, carbs, so every single meal that you eat, your blood sugars will spike above that 100. And then what happens is your pancreas will release insulin, which would lower it again. So obviously, if it's too high, you will feel uncomfortable. And if it's too low, it's hypoglycemic as well. So then you want to faint as well. So what happens is, our body and blood sugar control gets um, regulated by two organs in our, in our bodies. One is the liver. The liver is a big organ on the right hand side of your body. And as you know, most people will know we need to detoxify our liver to live a healthy lifestyle, to feel better all the time. On the left hand side, just under the rib cage, is the tiniest little uh, organ called the pancreas. And this pancreas releases the insulin into our body that regulates our blood sugars. So having said all that is when we eat, our pancreas will release insulin, our blood sugars will spark when we've eaten, but because the release of insulin will happen, it'll bring our blood sugars back down to 100, which is normalized. So that's why we feel good, we can carry on with our everyday lives. So when we're not eating, so when we're like fasting or when we're exercising, our body goes into, um, regulates on our, our liver side, which will be, we'll start using stored sh um, sugar. So what happens is when we eat, our body either uses as um, energy, or if we have too much to eat, it'll store the sugar as a form of glycogen in our liver. However, if we keep overeating, that stored sugar will no longer be stored, but will be released and made, it'll start making fat in our bodies. So therefore, we need insulin, first of all, to regulate our blood sugars so that it stores as glycogen so we can work or do, use it as energy. And then if we're not, it will store it as fat. Therefore, what we're putting into our mouths needs to be the same as we energy, uh, using up as energy. So whether it's walking, running, cycling, movement, basically. So every time you eat, at the end of your meal, don't just sit. For me, I'd say get up and walk even for 10 minutes so your, your muscles are working and your muscles will use the glycogen instead of storing it as fat. So um, everything in our body is regulated by hormones. As you see, the pancreas releases insulin, which is a hormone, which will regulate your blood sugars in your body to maintain that 100 moles. Your um, liver releases a, um, a, a hormone called IGF, which is your growth hormone, which is actually for anti-aging. So if your liver is healthy, you won't age as quickly, You'll, you will look still young, you will be able to have a bit of more longevity than if you're drinking alcohol, you're smoking a lot, you're overeating, you're eating sugars the whole time. So your IGF is actually your anti-aging and your longevity hormone for your liver. So that is when you're not eating. So when you're not eating, your body will have your stored energy as a form of glycogen in your liver. So when you start cycling or whatever, it will release that and your, your body will be able to move faster, quicker, do all those things it needs to do. The thing about not eating, it's also good for you because you're giving your body the ability to rest and your liver to be able to detox and for you to feel better. So if you see the size of a liver versus the size of a pancreas, the easiest way to fix your, your health is to actually fix your liver because it's, it's 100 times bigger than your pancreas in size. So if you fix this, you can fix your, your pancreas and your diabetes and your insulin resistance that happens to you once you have too much sugar. And the way you do this with your liver is to detox it. 
So there's many ways to detox your liver. It's obviously to rest it, to allow your body to the time, because your body always knows how to fix itself. So you, if you're resting, you're not eating all the time. Remember if you're eating, you're having insulin spikes all the time, every single day, every single day, and then your body's storing it as fat or, or storing it as glycogen. But what happens is it gets tired. So when your pancreas gets tired, it's over exhausted, that's when you have diabetes one. Because what happens is now you're eating, your pancreas no longer secretes insulin. So it no longer brings your blood sugars down. So it keeps it high all the time and then you don't feel well. And when it's high like that, your high sugars, it's inflammation in your body. Inflammation over time brings disease and that's exactly what it is, is diabetes. So on the other hand, your liver, if that gets too tired, means it's working all the time to release sugars all the time, it's eventually becomes too low in sugars and then it's hypoglycemic. So what happens is you have a sugar overload all the time, you become insulin resistant. That means, let me explain it in a way then, when you have a, your phone rings and these telesales people phone you, phone you, phone you, phone you, and you're releasing insulin, insulin all the time, eventually it doesn't want to do it anymore, so it stops. So what happens is you need to unlock your liver to be able to store that sugar and to lower your, your, your um, um, blood sugars in your body. So what happens is you either have to take medi medication or you need to fix your liver. So when it comes to detoxing, uh, green leafy vegetables such as spinach, kale, broccoli, anything green, the bit more bitter the better. Um, you can take Moringa, which is a brilliant product and you fix your liver. And in fixing your liver, you'll fix your insulin and you'll, you, you'll obviously also fix um, the amount of fat that gets stored into your body. It'll rather be fixed in putting in, um, store it as glycogen, which is ready energy. And that's what you want. You want rather readied energy than fat storage. So in essence, if we're not controlling our blood sugar levels in our body, we are either going to head towards diabetes one, which is a, a pancreatic, disease which is secreting too much insulin all the time so we're eating too much sugars in our bodies or it's going to be a problem with our liver so we need to be able to fix our liver and be able to store our stored sugar for energy in the form of um, glycogen or in our muscle before we start storing it as fat so tips to help you um, overcome this sugar control is when we eat be cognizant of eating number one so when you sit down and you have your meal in front of you, eat your vegetables first, your protein and fat second, and then your um, um, carbohydrates last. And then even if you want a dessert, you can eat your dessert after if you want something sweet. And what happens to that is because you've lined your stomach with the vegetables, your, the rest of your meal becomes slow release. So you don't have that enormous spark in your uh, blood sugar. It's, it'll be slow release, so your 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 line will look like that. Therefore, when don't ever skip out your vegetables because that's where we have potassium in our vegetables naturally, which helps detoxify the liver, which helps you with obviously storing glycogen instead of fat. That's what the problem is. We don't even have potassium into our, in our bloods or in our bodies. And that's what we get is from vegetables. So when you have breakfast, eat a protein rich uh, meal, Lunch time, have, and, and, and potassium, you can have as, as much as you like. So you can have, have up to seven cups of vegetables or salad for lunch. And then at meal time, have your protein and your salad or your vegetables again. But once again, eat your vegetables first, your protein second, and your fats last with your carbohydrates. And when you're finished eating, get up and walk. And then your muscle glycogen is also being utilized. So when you just sit and do nothing, your body's at rest. And even when we have supper and we go straight to bed, that's probably the worst thing to do because then your food sits in your stomach and your body doesn't know what to do. Do I digest the food or do I rest? And remember when you're resting and you're sleeping, that's when your body's restoring and fixing itself. So when you go to bed, you need to be, have as little as possible in your stomach so it's not sparking your blood sugar, that your body's not overworking, that your body's at rest. And what happens when we rest and we're sleeping, we naturally increase our um, human gro growth hormone, which is your longevity. And that's why they recommend eight hours of sleep a day, is so that your body rests and restores itself. And then also hydration is really important. So when you're eating, don't drink water while you're eating, because you dilute your, your digestive enzymes inside your stomach. 
um, rather have it an hour or half an hour before you eat and then a half an hour after you eat. And that way we, we flush out the toxins in our body. So when it comes to our body and blood sugars, our liver is vital. We need to be cleansing that often, eating green um, vegetables, the better the better, lots of um, healthy salads, lots of healthy vegetables. And uh, yeah, that way we will make sure our blood sugar level stays stable. And that's what you really want. So your body is not out of sync all the time. Okay, I want to introduce you to some of the products that TC keep that will help you control your blood sugar. So firstly, we have blood sugar stabilizing capsules. Um, ingredients on this is cinnamon. So cinnamon is a powerful um, ingredient that helps you actually lower your blood sugar. So inside your blood sugar stable, you'll have um, cinnamon, you'll have chromium. Chromium does the same. It brings down your blood sugar levels and stabilizes. So if you've had a heavy meal, or cake or sweets or whatever, you pop one of these and it'll bring your blood sugars down. So this is an amazing product. It comes in 30 um, capsules, so when you need it. We also have it in liquid form, which also stabilizes your blood sugar. Um, if you prefer a liquid to a capsule, this is your product you'll use. Also, once again, it has cinnamon in it. And what's amazing about cinnamon, so even when you're having your breakfast with your oats and you've added your salt, add a little sprinkle of, of um, cinnamon in your oats and what will it happen well it'll release the um, cinnamon into your bloodstream and it'll also lower your blood sugar levels that's why we have the oats here which is part of our foods um, category and for breakfast so if you're having that just add your cinnamon in it and it'll lower your blood sugar once again with our teas we have a blood sugar control tea which once again has cinnamon in it cinnamon and rooibos Rooibos is also a powerful antioxidant, which will also help your liver, um, keeping it um, youthful. Another tea you can use when you're looking after your liver is pure green tea, which is unfermented. So because it's been unfermented, it is more green. The green is obviously, like I said, will detox your liver. The greener, the better. So your pure green tea will help you with that. Once again, also caffeine free. As I mentioned earlier on, on the whiteboard, Moringa. Moringa is a powerful antioxidant. It keeps you youthful, cleans out your liver, um, full of green nourishments. Also, um, is good for anemia for, for the ladies if you want to use your um, Moringa capsules. Liver support. This is a new product of ours. As I said to you, we've got to look after our liver before we even look after our pancreas because it's a bigger organ. This helps you detoxify your, your, your liver. It's got milk thistle in it, so even if you've overindulged with alcohol or foods, you can have a capsule of these. It's got AL80s, which is for longevity, keeps you youthful. It has um, NAC in it. NAC is also it protects your cells in your body, in your liver, that it doesn't overload or help them overwork because you don't want to exhaust your liver trying to keep your glycogen levels stable. Magnesium is also a great product. So every single cell in our body uses magnesium up to be able to function. So if you're not doing magnesium, some of your cells won't be working too well and you'll be feeling it in your, your health-wise, in, in your ability to um, release energy into your body and use it up as um, fuel. Um, in our body tonics, we have a detox, which is also really, really amazing. So instead of the capsules, you can do the liquid form full of herbal um, ingredients, good for the body, helps your body, uh, your liver detoxify, releases all the toxins that get stored up in your, your liver into your bloodstream and you will release it out in your body. Blood circulation becomes important for diabetes, but diabetics, sorry, because of the inflammation in your body. So when you have inflammation in your body, you're, you need your body to be able to circulate it through um, and be able to release it. So once it goes through your liver, it'll release the toxins and your body will, will um, detox on its own. So circulation and detox for your body tonics. Once again, with the Moringa capsules, we have a Moringa breakfast, um, which is also a big one kg for the whole family, which helps for diabetes. It's a, a powerful antioxidant for the whole family, which helps you detoxify your liver and keep you healthy for the rest of the day. Um, so those are two ways you can use your uh, meals as a detox or as to control your blood sugar levels in the day.
Thank you for watching. Once again, Health Matters, and you've been with me, Gillian, um, Health Category Manager for the day. Hopefully your day goes well and we can control our blood sugar levels better.